everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So today's video is going to be another TikTok made me buy it Amazon haul. So as the title suggests, um, I'm gonna be testing out a few things that I've seen on TikTok because as you know, I love a bit of TikTok um, that I just thought looked really cool. And I'm gonna be testing them out with you guys. Um, I'm really, really excited about this um, and I hope you really enjoy it because I love watching these kinds of things so I thought I might do another one now that I've accumulated a few more things to test. So before I get into today's video I wanted to quickly thank today's sponsor Best Fiends. So if you haven't heard of Best Fiends it's a free adventure puzzle game where you can complete thousands of levels and also collect cute little creatures called fiends and the reason I really like this game you might not think of me as much of a gamer, but definitely in the evenings or when I have a little bit of downtime, I really like to complete a few levels of a puzzle game like this because it stops me going on social media for a little while, which I find really important. And it means that I can just focus on one thing. So instead of all like the to-do list flying around in my head and all of the things that I just stress and worry about, um, I just completely focus on the puzzles and it just takes my mind away from it for a little while at least. Um, and it's really fun, it's a simple game to play. You just have to match up the icons and the more you play it, the better you get at making like a longer path of icons. And there's little challenges within the game as well, like you might have to clear 30 leaves or flowers or open three boxes for you to win at that level. You can use my link in the description box to download it for free and you'll also get $5 worth of gold and diamonds if you can beat level five. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into today's video. So the first thing is this, which is a really cute pink little pancake pan. Um, I need to actually put it together. It comes like this, obviously, so it can fit in the box, I assume. I just need to take this screw out and put the handle on so it will look like this. But the novelty factor of this got me because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, little places for mini pancakes and they all have different smiley faces on them so I thought if this works the boys would really really love it um, it's good because it's for induction electric ceramic halogen gas it's not dishwasher safe but you know we can wash it by hand that's fine um, but we have an induction hob now so that was really important so that's so yeah it looks really good um, it makes seven pancakes at a time easy clean up non-stick so we will see if it works let's go okay so you've joined me in the kitchen i'm sorry it's not very aesthetically pleasing at the moment maybe one day soon it will be um we've got our smiley face pancake pan give you a better look if i didn't show you earlier it's really cute and then ricky's just made me up some pancake batter like the darling that he is um, and now this is where it all goes wrong Am I professional at that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that! That's starting to go brown, isn't it? Yeah. That's cute. So you've done a couple, and we've flipped we've, a bit early. This was the poor guy, and I think his face says it all. Who's like, what have you done to me? Mm. He's quite happy, but not that brown. There yes. he is. Once they're done. Oh wow, these would be so cute to make some for breakfast. This one we mangled a bit before it was ready as so well. Last one. No, that just feels like it's not ready. Oh, he is. Yay! I think they could be a bit browner, like that's the best one, isn't yeah. it? But I think if it was a little bit hotter, they gradually get better. <laughs> trying to get used to this new hob, it just needed to be a bit hotter, I think. Yeah. Everything. Oh, I'm actually really impressed with those. Yes. These, Elliot. What do you think of those? Don't touch, so hot. I don't love leaky ceiling. Okay, pizza. step back then, but just don't touch. What do you think? Good. Good. I like pancakes. They're pancakes. So we can eat them? Yeah. Yeah! Hey, Thank you. That's all right. Let's go play now. Okay, go on Until we wait, let's finish. Until we're finished, <laughs> yeah. My verdict on the pancake pan, smiley face pancake one. I'm actually really impressed. When we started that and I put all the batter in, I didn't think I'd be able to flip them. I thought it was going to be a disaster. Yeah, as you can but, tell, these are the two we started with. Yeah. 
but actually if you just let them we had it on a lower heat than we should have if you just let them cook you can just flip it with a little knife because we tried like a cake spatula to start with and a spoon and a normal spatula and a fork and a knife the knife worked quite well so i give that a nine out of ten yeah. would you yeah, I'd say a hotter temperature than what you think. 9 or 10, like, it's, it's perfect. The next thing I've seen quite a lot on TikTok, and that is one of these, which looks a little bit scary, I have to admit. Um, this is a scalp massager. So there are some amazing creators on TikTok that do, like, hair tutorials and hair care routines and things like that. Um, and there's this one guy I follow in particular, she has this, like, incredibly thick, beautiful, long hair. And one of the things she recommends is these um, scalp massages. So, where's the thing? So it just came in this packet. You can get different colors and they're really inexpensive. Um, it just says deep cleans the hair at the roots. It exfoliates the scalp and removes dandruff. Dandruff? That's not right, <laughs> dandruff. Um, massages the scalp to promote blood circulation and metabolism. Uh, yeah, it's just meant to help relieve hair loss and, pro and promote hair growth. Um, it's meant to relax the head muscles and relieve stress. Now, I'm not going to actually go and wash my hair in the shower because I think that's why you're meant to use it in the shower if I didn't already say that because um, I've just washed my hair. Um, but I will give it a quick go on the top. And do you know what? If anything, it just feels like a, a nice massage. It probably would really relax you if someone did this for a while. A bit like a hair massage in the... Um, in the hairdressers um it feels really nice but i can also see the benefits of using this in the shower to really kind of clean your scalp um and get anything like built up product or like it says dandruff off your scalp and out of your hair so i'll let you know on instagram how this goes i'll use it a few times when i wash my hair and see if it's any good but it feels that's really nice. <laughs> Next up was this. I've seen this on TikTok and I've also seen Mrs. Hinch got one recently. So I was kind of influenced by TikTok and Instagram on this occasion. And it is this. I'm a little bit worried because there seems to be so many parts to it. But it's basically a kitchen tap or maybe even bathroom as well. I don't know. Um, extender hose. So that, I mean, it looks a lot more bulky than Mrs. Hinch's. Her one looked really good. But I think she got hers on eBay and I got mine on Amazon. Um, and yeah, you're basically meant to be able to move it around in the sink so you can wash it all instead of the water just coming out the tap. So let's go and give it a go and see if I can fit it. It said it's universal, so we shall see. Every tap should come with this so that you can change your add adapters if you want to, just like this actually. And all you do is literally you hold that over, screw it on, tighten it up, and whoosh. Take a shower for the thing. Oh, it's got this single. Uh, do you want to get a drink? Oh, I'll show the drink. Yeah. And that's like so soft and bubbly. Is it? Yeah. So I Rubble take it you quite like that then? Yeah. What would you give out of 10? Uh, how much was it? Like four pounds, I think. Four pounds? Maybe it was more. I'd probably give that a 10. Please also excuse the state of the sink. We've tried to clean the lime scale and the dirty grout so many times. Something we have learned from this kitchen is we will never have a black sink or black worktops. They just don't work for us. And in a hard water area, they just look bad all the time, no matter how much you clean them. But anyway, we do like the tap extender, so thumbs up for that. Next up, this is something that I'd never heard of before until I'd, I saw it on TikTok. And I'm really curious. So this is a mobile phone wireless charging sterilizing box looks like this so there's a stat that your phone is something like i'll put it i'll try and put it on screen i'll try and find the correct stat but it's like 20 times more um covered in germs than your toilet seat or something really gross like that this sterilizes your phone with i believe uva light which is all enclosed in this box so you don't you're not exposed to it yourself or anything so you can pop your phone in here for 18 minutes or 30. I'm not actually sure why there's two different settings. If it sterilizes it in 18 minutes, I'm not sure why you need the 30, but I'll try and find that out. So you just put, uh, put it in, then you just obviously plug in the USB charger, turn it on, and it's meant to sterilize your phone. You can also place your phone on top after, 
and this acts as a wireless charger so it's kind of like two products in one very clever um, and you can put other things in here basically anything that will fit in this box the jewelry uh, um, your purse your keys anything that you touch a lot you can put in here now I would try this out I'm sure I'll insert some clips of me trying this but how do I know that it's done anything I don't actually know there's nothing that I will be able to see afterwards as far as I know so I don't know but it's a really cool one especially in the world that we live in now if you just want to be able to you know really sterilize your things this is a really cool gadget and if you put it in for half an hour it would stop you going on your phone for half an hour so it could quite be quite a good way to switch off a little bit as well so I got that next I got this I wanted to try something like this for a while and then I saw a pink one. I don't have a lot of pink kitchen gadgets to be honest, but um, I just thought I'd get this one in pink. And it's a really nice pink as well. Not that it matters at all what colour it is. This is a hand cutter. So this is doesn't need any electrics, batteries, charging, anything. You um, basically can pop in your garlic, um, chopped up vegetables, all different things in here. Apparently you can even blend up meat but I'll definitely be using this for vegetables and I'm going to show you it but basically all you do is pull this so you're kind of manually doing it but not actually chopping which I think is great for things like onions, garlic, that kind of thing so we're going to go and give it a go and I think this will just be a really handy thing pretty easy to clean up not that much more difficult to clean than a knife because it's just a blade in there um, and this could end up being a very handy, very used kitchen gadget because it's small as well. Blenders are great and um, big food processors are brilliant. But when you just want to do it quick for dinner, I think that could be a really good option. Next, I'm going to try out the garlic or vegetable chopper. I've actually got, I'll show you, I've got some garlic here and some onions. They're making me cry already. I've got like six cloves of garlic. I'm going to just throw them in whole because there wasn't any instructions to know whether or not that that was the right thing to do. Oh, no. It's doing something. That is impressive. Oh, it smells so nice. Does anyone love the smell of garlic? I think I'm a bit obsessed. So that's what it got the garlic to. You could probably cut it up smaller than that, but... If you were fr throwing that in the frying pan, that would be really good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put the onion in, because we don't actually need this right now, but we don't want to waste it, so we're just going to make it up for maybe like... Oh, it'd be nice to make guacamole with this. Do that than stand and chop. When do you have stand and chop? No, when I'm cooking. <laughs> I'd actually give this a 9 out of 10. Um, Ricky said he would give it an 8 just because there's more to clean up than if you just chopped it, so you just have a knife. But really, it's just a little bowl and the little blades, so it doesn't bother me at all. I think that is so much easier. It's really easy to pull, and just in a few seconds, it was all chopped up. And you have the added bonus when you're chopping onions that it doesn't make you cry. The only reason my eyes are starting to tear up is because I'm standing with it near my eyes. But it's brilliant. So I would definitely recommend having a little gadget like that in your kitchen. Now this is very much a novelty gadget. I saw this guy, I can't remember what it's called, but um, there's this really lovely family and this, <laughs> this guy does all these Amazon reviews. He gets so excited about things. And I saw him get this and I thought... That's actually a really cool idea. Okay, so are you ready for this? It is some soup. I got some Heinz cream of tomato soup from Amazon because it's just my favorite flavor. No, obviously, obviously not. Um, I, don't, I don't know how you open this. Oh, yes I do. Mm, I'm so stupid. Okay, so this is actually a safety can. So you could put things in here, money, Again, keys, anything important that would obviously fit, so nothing too big, in here and store it away, even in your tin cupboard. No one would be any the wiser. I mean, if someone tried to make themselves soup, they might get a bit of a surprise when they try and pop this can open. Um, but 
I just think it's a really good way to hide things. To be honest, in our house, what I will probably use this for is like putting a chocolate bar or some sweets in that I want to keep for myself and that I don't want the boys to find, go in the cupboard and find. Um, because they will never suspect anything's in there and they would never go near this. So, um, yeah, I just thought that was so cool. And I think that's a good novelty gift. It's just clever and funny. Sticking with the kitchen gadgets, I know quite a few of these have been kitchen gadgets, but it's just kind of the thing that I like. I do love a kitchen gadget. So this looks a little bit scary. Um, this is just called a clever cutter. I've seen these so many times, people using these on TikTok, and I've always been really intrigued. So I thought I would get on for this video. Um, I don't know, oh, it's got a lock on it. So it has a lock, you open it up, and then you have the blade. And I'm holding it upside down, that's probably wrong. And this is basically like a mini chopping board. So instead of chopping a carrot, for example, you can chop it like this. And I just think that's gonna be so much easier, but I don't know, so let's go and test it out and see if it works. What gadget have you got? <laughs> I don't know what you call it, a knife chopper? Scissor chopper? I don't actually know what it's called. But well, it's got, it's got a little chopping, focus? kind of. It's got a little chopping board and a knife. Which I reckon if you like having pies and stuff and you like trying to do lemon limes and little, like it's so much easier. You just go, oh, you want a bit of lemon with that? And just go, oh. See, look, look how easy that was. Well, you didn't shout on camera, so. And then I'm going to do it again and see, look. So you have this in your water every day, so would you do I would like use, that? I would use this over a chopping board and a knife. It's less mess. It's easy to do. It's sharp enough to cut them. Okay, let's try the cucumber. Try, then. try slices of cucumber. I mean, they're a bit thick. Yeah, I can't seem to dig that down. Right, hang on a second. Let me try and get it straight. It's better. That's it. Again, e that. easier than a chopping board and a. Yeah. What would you give that out of ten? I would give it a nine out of ten. The only reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10, um, what was my reason? Oh, because of the knife being not sharp enough over time. But well, I think with what it's made out of, you could probably sharpen it. It's good, isn't it? Other than that, yeah, it's really good. Another little gadget that we probably will keep and actually use. Yeah. Next up, I think this is probably one of the gadgets that I've seen the most on TikTok. Um, can't believe I haven't got one sooner, but I'm very glad that I can test them out. You actually get two. And they are these. I'll just get one out. They look really sharp. Hmm. They are these lint, lint, they're not a lint roller, are they? They're kind of like a, a lint collector. Basically, this one looks a bit rusty, actually. That's a bit weird. Maybe it's got wet. Um, I'm not sure of the exact name, if it's like a lint roller, lint collector, dust collector, but you can run it over your carpets cushions other things and it's meant to collect all the hair and dust and stuff in in it so i got two um i don't so i don't really know how long they are meant to last um but let's give it a go because we're doing loads of work in our house at the moment and the carpets are probably in a really bad state because they're not new or anything either they've been here for a while so let's go and see what we can pick up look how dirty this step is Ready? oh my god i'm embarrassed yeah you did you just scrape it don't you yeah but don't do it too hard is it working yeah so what we're we giving it out of 10. um how much did it cost they're like four again like Four pound for two. I mean, compared to Hugo, it was unbelievable results. So let's give it a ten out of ten. 10. Yes. But stuff doing a whole room of that. Yeah. Imagine how long it it's takes. It's too there. manual, isn't it? So you yeah. obviously need. Although to I reckon it'd be good for sofas and things. Though, good with for carpets. Sofas and cushions. Yeah, carpets like soft well. furnishings. That would be good for. <laughs> Next up is the biggest thing. Now I have a little confession here. This isn't necessarily because I've seen it on TikTok, but I really wanted to test it out. Um, and I have seen people using these on social media before. I thought, oh, that would be so lovely to have for like breakfast on the weekend and maybe all the time if I, I enjoy it. Um, anyway, this is a orange press slash juicer machine. So it's not a typical juicer 
well it's called a master juicer actually but it's not like the typical one you know where you just like put the fruits and vegetables in and it kind of like blends slash juices them this is a bit more specific for citrus fruits you can kind of see the you know the thing on the top I'll show you this in more detail in a minute because I'm not explaining it very well. But this one had really good reviews on Amazon. There are some online that are so expensive, like £5,000. So I'm sure they're incredible. But I had this amazing freshly squeezed orange juice with no bits in it at a brunch the other day. And then I just couldn't stop thinking about it since. So I thought we would get one to try and make our own orange juice or citrus juices mixed together and see how it goes. So let's go and see if it's any good. saying guys what oh archie's down in it you like it thumbs up from archie what do you think homemade it? orange juice you don't like the bits do you Good. i would be it like <laughs> ten thousand pounds like my verdict on the juicer i would want to put this in the fridge and make it really cold but that one i had at the brunch the other day it had no bits in it so i don't know how they do that but oh my god it was so nice so it's really, it tastes really good, really fresh. But for the glass that we had, which was probably about that full, it took five medium sized oranges. So I feel like I don't people, think that's too bad though. I don't know, I feel like people would say maybe it's a bit of a waste of money. And also like all of that fruit that you're not eating is a bit of a waste of the fruit. Although I'm not actually a fan of an orange. I like the juice, but not the fruit. Bit weird. Um, I really like it. I'm gonna try and strain it and make it like um, smooth, but I'd probably give it, I wanna say, oh, I really wanted to like this the most. I'm gonna give it a six, but I'm not gonna give up on it. I do really like it. And let me just turn that for a second. You, I don't know how. Take the black belt first. Take, I can take it all out. You just have to wash this, so. I mean, there's a well, that's quite to easy wash, to wash though, because you can just tip all that straight in the bin. Yeah. Uh, none of it can go in the dishwasher though. That's what I read. Okay, so I've got one more thing to show you, and this one is a bit random, but I'll explain it to you in a second. So this is definitely not something that's gone viral on TikTok. I wouldn't have said. Um, this is a book called Photos That Changed the World, um, and these are all black and white photos from history. Actually, there's some colour photos in there too. Um, and I've seen on TikTok, there's this guy, there's probably a few people that show old photos from history and they're so interesting. I actually pause every single one and like read what it says about the photo and really look at it and I find it so interesting. So I looked on Amazon to see if there was an actual sort of coffee table book with all of these photos in, in one place. Um, and this one looks really good. I've had a quick look through it. There are a few like dark photos in there like a bit harrowing so not one to read whilst whilst the kids are around but yeah it's all about history and those really incredible moments that were captured in a photo and um each page um it, it has information about the picture so it's got like writing on one page and then the picture on the other so if you're into history i just think this is a really nice thing to have and these videos get like millions of views so i'm sure lots of people are as interesting that would be a really nice one to just sit down and even just look look at flick in and out of look at different pages and find out more about history so yeah i thought that was really cool so that's everything that i got i hope you enjoyed this video and you liked testing out these gadgets with me let me know if there are any others that you've seen on tiktok that you'd be interested in me trying out in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already i'd be so grateful and love to have you come and join us over here on my channel and i will see you again very soon thanks for watching everyone bye